Hey guys, I'm Morgan Harbin, and you've just tuned into coverage of week four of the 2016 robotic season right here on SMR Vault. Now with four weeks under our belts and only two weeks till the end of the season, teams have really stepped up their game to meet that deadline. Take a look. The Hardin Valley Rohawktics have had a very busy agenda this week, to say the least. Their build team has been hard at work on an apparatus that we brought to you last week that will be used to scale the towers at each ends of the arena. They've also done some work on motors and wheels and have begun wiring for a test robot. Their business team has made significant progress as they've recently submitted their chairman's essay and their Woody Flowers essay. The Ellen and Stimpunks have made notable progress in terms of chassis design and hope to have a finalized chassis very shortly. In the meantime, they've been busy working on Chairman's Awards and active in community service. This week, BCR finalized their motor setup and their next step is to design a chassis that will effectively incorporate an arm used for both throwing and getting past defenses. BCR's technical team has also made some significant strides in terms of their autonomous code for the robot. The CMA Wolfbots have a pretty finalized design right now and they're waiting on parts to put this design into construction. Now we know that included in this finalized design is going to be an arm that will launch a ball. This week, Beard and Robotics, Team Ratchet, continued to work on prototyping their chassis as well as two mechanisms to launch boulders and scale the tower. On Tuesday, they successfully tested the shooter and they're currently assembling their competition chassis out of 80-20 parts. Thanks to all the teams who participated this week. If you'd like your team to be involved in this, check the description below. Thanks for watching this week, and we'll catch you later.